colouring creations. This is now part 9 of my colouring book collection video series. I will try and not talk for too long, so as there's still quite a few books to get through. Um, but I'm hoping it will only be about 5-6 more videos max, hopefully. That's what I'm going to try and aim for, so there can't be, so there won't be too many. So I will get started. So the first book is a recent purchase from a colouring cell swap group on Facebook. Um, this is the Colour Me book by Santoro London. It has got, um, I'm not quite sure where you can purchase this from as I purchased it, per year, sorry, purchased this second hand from another colourist, although it's completely brand new condition. So I'm not 100% sure where you can get it from, I'm afraid. Um, but I'm sure if you looked online you might be able to find it. I don't know if it was like a limited edition thing or... So we've got in illustrations here and then the paper's not thick but it's not really thin either. I guess it's sort of similar thickness to the Amazon Create Space paper. There's, I just love all these little cute little girls. They're so sweet. It is quite similar illustrations from the... Um, the Santoro Gorgeous, um, the Colouring Heaven issue I showed in another video, but I don't mind having duplicates because they're so sweet. And I mean, yes, with this one I'll have to use just pencils as it's all it's double sided, but I just like having more. And there's a few images in here I haven't got, I think. So yeah, there's a nice book. So that's that one. Uh, then I have. Uh, I'm not sure if I've shown this yet, so I'm sorry if I have. Uh, so Winnie the Pooh, uh, it's sort of like a Japanese magazine kind of thing. I can't remember who the artist is. Um, you get the coloured examples here, and sort of those colouring tutorial kind of thing, and then you get full size ones here. There's only 11 illustrations, but you get all the coloured examples, and then you get the colouring page versions here. They're single-sided. This by, I don't know if this is, I think this is the publisher, but it, oh, sorry. It's, if you could focus camera, it's that name. It's that, the Kawaii Shobo Shinsha Publishers. So, yeah. I got this on Amazon. Oh, sorry. And I think there's an Alice in Wonderland and a Snow White version and I think just the general Disney one. I've not coloured in it yet but the paper is quite nice as is with most Japanese books so yeah it's quite nice. I saw this on the Colouring Queen's channel and thought it was really nice so I thought I'd um, get one. So that's that one. Uh, then I bought all my colouring by numbers books. So I is that the way first? So I've got <laughs> I haven't done too much actually, I'm gonna just put those back up for a minute. So I bought quite a lot of these when I realised they're quite like having some to do. So this is uh, Marvel Colorage Magics and I'm not sure how to say this, but it's basically it's sort of like a hidden picture thing. I did colour a Disney version. Um it was the Alice one, where sort of you colour it, it's got an image there, but then when you colour it, it shows something else. So this one is Peter Parker on the line art, but then when you colour it, it's like him in the Spider-Man suit. So I've not done anything yet, but yeah, there's lots of different Marvel characters. So yeah, so that's that one. And these are by uh, Hatchet Jeunesse. And put them back where they're on the shelf there. And then I have this is a Frozen 2 version of the Marvel one, so it's again like hidden images. I've not coloured anything in this one yet, it's mostly snowflakes, and then when you colour it, it's the characters. So that's a Frozen 2 one. And then this is just the Colorage Magic Masterize, so this is just the normal kind of colour by numbers. I've not done anything here yet. This is a Frozen 2 one. 
Okay. Yeah. I was just a little bit intimidated by that one as it's a bit more detailed. And then I've got a frozen one, the first film, where it's the hidden images. So, yeah. I got these all on Amazon. Um, so, I think a couple of them I had to get on Amazon France. But mostly you can find these on um, normal Amazon. I got these on Amazon UK. If you just type... Um, Disney Colour by Numbers or Disney Colourage Mr. Rez, they usually come up, there's quite a few of them. So this is the Frozen, this is just the normal kind of Colour by Numbers. There are some coloured aspects already in there for you, but yeah, there's still lots to fill in. So that's that one. Uh, then I have a Disney Princess hidden picture one. I've still not done anything here yet, but yeah, so that's that one, um, sorry, sorry, I'm just trying to put them back on the shelf, uh, this is another Disney Princess one, I had to get this one from Amazon France, as um, it's not available on Amazon UK anymore, but it's the same as the last one, sort of the same concept, there's that one, try not to make the camera this time. Uh, this one I have done some pages in, which you will have seen in my colour pages a few months back. So this is the Tiana one. I just use Crayola Super Tips, Faber Castell colour grip markers, uh, Artworks felt tips, and the Faber Castell felt tips. So yeah, and I did Snow White. Whoop, uh, sorry, okay, Snow White and Rapunzel. And I'm trying to do this in order, so Pocahontas will be next when in the mood for that, so that's that one. Uh, then we have Disney Animo Animals. This is a normal one, but it's like circles, which is quite cool. There are lots of different animal characters. Again, like the Frozen one, there's some already filled in parts. Okay, that's that one. And uh, then this is the this is the hidden image one, and you've seen these. Uh, months ago so I done Dumbo. It was originally Timothy Mouse and then when I coloured it it was did, um, Dumbo. And then this one was uh, one of the singing flowers and it came out as Alice. So yeah, it's different, a mix of Disney in there. It's not just animals, so there's only animals in the front, it's sort of a mix of them. And then I've only got a couple more. Uh, this is a mosaic kind of colour by numbers. Different Disney. This is just sort of des general Disney. Looks a bit. I've not done anything in here yet. So that's that one. And then I have a general Disney one. I had to get this one from Amazon France as well. This is just the magic. Mr. Rez, different Disney characters. So yeah, there's that one. And the final colour by number book I have is this big one. Uh, this is by Hatchet Heroes, so it's sort of more aimed at adults, I think, because it's more detailed. I mean, look how tiny the spaces are. <laughs> I've not done anything in here yet. I think I definitely have to be in the right mood because it's so more complicated with all the different codes and things. But yeah, so that's the Disney Princesses by Hatchet. The Colourage. Sorry, I knocked the camera again. And then, and then I've got these different things here. So as um two Disney water, Disney Princess watercolour pads. I got this one from the range where I work. So it's 12 images but you get uh, two of each. So and it's printed on 300 GSM paper and it's just different Disney princesses. The line works grey so it's quite pale but yeah it's quite nice. Um, so that's that one. 
And then this one I got from a supermarket called Aldi and it's a similar sort of thing. It's 12 illustrations repeated twice. So different and it's on the same kind of thickness of paper. And then I also got this one from the range. It's a bit Beatrix Potter Peter Rabbit watercolour pad. Again, 12 images repeated twice on nice watercolour paper. That's that one. And the other one is a Winnie the Pooh one. And I think it was last month I showed, I put on the screen the coloured page I did of here because I did the other version as I coloured it for a present for my nan for her birthday. So, yeah, if you want to see it, I'll, I might put it in the video if I remember. But if not, I'm just going to pause the video so I can put these back on the shelf for a moment. Okay, uh, then I've got my Millie Rotter books. I've got a uh, Brilliant Beast. This is one of the compilation ones. Um, everyone's seen this post likely. So yeah, it's, oh, I have done something in here. I wasn't sure. So, and then the giraffes. I, I'm going to have to flip for it now. Okay, so the giraffes, I think it was the other one I did something else in. Yeah, it was just this, that one. So that's a Brilliant Beast by Marie Marotta. Oops, sorry. And then I've got the other compilation books, Wildlife Wonders. This one I have done some more in. Then the octopus. Yeah. Oh no, I've done that one as well, the honeycomb and the bees. I just use fine liners in her books, as I just use her books as a sort of stress relief rather than... I mean, obviously all colouring is stress relieving, but I just, I don't do the blending or anything. I mean, some of them I might take more time with at some point, but mostly I just like using fine liners in her books. And then, then I have her Animal Kingdom book. Let's make it out, I guess. Uh, um, I know I've done one in here. I did that one. Again, just various sort of fine liners and things. That's that one. I think that's all I've done in here. Just that one. I'll leave it to the side in a minute. And then I've got Woodland Wild. And I have done a couple in here. Somewhere. And there's that one. And the Grasshopper. Oops, sorry, that was my phone. I don't know if that popped up or not, if it, the ding came up or not. So that's those two. Okay, I will just pause the video a second. Okay, so I've grabbed some more books. I've now started my draw tower I've got on the side next to me. So it's just that. It's four drawers full and two storage boxes of books. So hopefully <laughs> there will only be a few more videos. So first I've got the Big Adventure of Cat the Big Adventure of Catacorn by Coco Wyo. And I just thought this because it was really cute. It's just this little Uni, like catacorn, going on an adventure, and oops, sorry, and it's really sweet. Pictures are really cute. Is it running away from a dinosaur? Yeah, and it's just really sweet book. And the end one, um, sleep after its big adventure. <laughs> so that's that one. Uh, then I have Kawaii Animals Colouring Book by Coco Wai, and it's just more cute little animals pictures. I've not coloured in this yet, but it's really cute. So that's that one. And these, these can all get on Amazon. Uh, then I have the Coco Wai Vampires book. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Jade Summer one. But not really exact, but the like sort of style is similar. 
but I think the Coco Wire publishers, so it's kind of like the Jade Summer one, but they've got different artists and so that's Vampire's one. Uh, then I have Haunted Dolls by Davina Rush. And if you're interested in sort of um like Annabelle, like the real Annabelle doll, not the just the one from the country, the one the one yeah, the one from the the one that the film is based on. Um, and stuff like that, like Real Haunted Dolls. This is quite a cool book, especially if you like colouring at the same time. So it's like, um, basically, this is the contents. She basically has a page for each doll, like she's researched all these like real dolls. So there's Annabelle, there's Robert the doll, those are the only two I really know. Um, but, yeah, but basically, um, so get the introduction there and then you basically so that's the Annabelle picture and then you also get the story like a summarized version of the like story and the sort of um origin of it and things and like why it's haunted and things like that which is quite cool so she does that for all the dolls in here and it's really interesting if you're interested in stuff like this so, and quite a few of these I'd not heard of, so when I first got it, it was quite an interesting read. Um, I have the one in here, somewhere. I did a Mandy one, that's it. I did this one for her contest that she was holding a while back. I just used alcohol markers, polychromos, and some white gel pen. But yeah. It's quite a cool book, but yeah. And then these ones are a bit more that she couldn't find as much information, but they're still she still includes some what she could find. So yeah, it's quite cool. It's a cool book, and you get 33 images and then the stories. So it's very factual, interesting, as well as creative and fun to cover. So that's Haunted Dolls by Davina Rush. Uh, then I have the Jade Summer Art Nouveau book. I've not done anything in here yet. I think it's just because it's so detailed. I've not. It's been a bit intimidating for me. Plus, I can't really decide on a page because I quite I do like quite this one. I think I just need to try in colour. So that's Art Nouveau by Jade Summer. Then I have Yam Puff either Yam Puff stuff. And this is just her, like, sort of mixed book with lots of different chibi girls in. And, yeah. and there's also cute little illustrations. And there's loads in here. I think it's, it's 48 images in here. So you get quite a lot to colour. And they don't really take that long, depending on, you know, what you use. But they're quite fun images. So, yeah. So that's Yam Puff stuff. And then I also have her chibi book, the Chibi Zodiac. Um, so you get like the more detailed version of it, and then you get the like really cute little chibi one. I mean, they're chibis anyway, but you get the more simplified version, and then the other one, which is quite cool. So, yeah, so that's the Chibi Zodiac by Yamaha. And uh, then even though I've got all the herb books, I got the Dreams collection as well. Because you get the Carousel Dreams, Sugary Dreams and Flowery Dreams. But then you also get some extra ones in the back. And there's um, the Magic Bottle ones that were only previously on her Etsy and Galaxy Dreams. So you get some extra ones then as well as the whole book collection. As well as she's like created... Um, these three girls on the front she's created to represent each book so you get those as separate images as well at the start and you get the cover as well so it's quite fun and the paper is a little tiny bit it's a little bit better than just the normal Amazon paper which is quite cool so that's, this is why I want to finish the three dreams books first and then I'll start on this one so yeah, so that's the Yam Puff Streams collection book. And then I have Colour My Sketchbook 3 by Bennett Klein. My friend gave this to me 
Um, I think it's for Christmas. Um, I haven't really coloured his work before. It's very bizarre. That is an ood from Doctor Who. <laughs> Pretty sure. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, I think the grey scale is a bit intimidating for me, but I might have a go. Yeah, this is artwork's a bit strange and unusual, but yeah. like, I've seen some really nice sort of like colourings of them. So uh, then this is the Harry Potter colouring, but this is the general one. I got this as a present from my auntie for Christmas, one Christmas. But yeah, I'm sure everyone's seen this. Um, I've not coloured anything yet, but so that's the Harry Potter colouring book. Uh, then I have Kawaii Grayscale Colouring Book by Jay Tummer. This is the one that's got the Kawaii Girls and Kawaii Fantasy like, in one book. I do kind of wish there had been a line-up version of this because I kind of struggle with the Jade Summer Grayscale. There's, I have to use markers because nothing else seems to work. I can't use pencils properly on this paper. I mean, I struggle with the line-up any as well, so I don't really know. I use the paper. There's this one, which you would have seen in finished pages a while ago. I just use alcohol markers and gel pen. So, that's that one. And I've also done a mermaid one somewhere. Which I've probably skipped. Where's me? That far. Is it? There it is. Here's the mermaid as well. So that's Kawaii Grayscale Colouring Book by Jade Summer. And then I have The Hidden Spirits of the Enchanted Forest by Forest Diver. And this was also a present from my friend for my birthday one time. I've done this one. I've just used pens on this, different pens. Um, yeah. That one. I love these books. I really want to get the other ones by Forest Diver because I really love this style, like the art style. I know I've done one other one in here somewhere. It's this one. And I did use some pencils on a few bits. It was W.H. Smith pencils, I think. And then just random pens. So yeah. So that's that one. And then I also have The Fantastic World of the Brothers Grimm, also by Forest Diver, and I've done the first page, The Red Riding Hood. And I just use Crayola Super Tips, and although I think I just use pencils just for the skin, because I don't really have a light skin colour pen, so yeah, that's that one. I really like this book, I need to do more in here. That's that one. Uh, then I have 50 Ocean Miniatures by Camellia Angel Cover. Um, this is the only book of hers I've got so far, but I really want to get all the other miniature books. They're so sweet. And I really like the look of her new one, the Jungle Miniatures. Um, I have done this one, although I'm not sure whether to call it finished yet, as I'm trying to decide whether I want to put shading with pencil on yet, hence why it wasn't in my finished pages. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm deciding whether it's a whip or not at the moment. <laughs> but I've used um, alcohol markers and Crayola super tips, I think. Now I use the Faber Castell felt tip pens for a little bit. I think it was Faber Castell felt tip pens, Crayola super tips, and then some alcohol markers for the seal. Uh, and I think the paper mate fair pens for the text. That, but yeah, um, um, I think I might add some shading with pencils. So, but this is so cute. I really need to do a proper page in here. I only did the nameplate page because I couldn't really decide what to do. <laughs> They're all so cute. Okay, that's that one. Uh, then I have Mythical Maidens and Curious Creatures by Hannah Lynn. And I have done quite a few in here. So I've done this one. I use Arteza pencils. Uh, there's metallic watercolour paint on her wings. I don't know if I'm showing. And then glitter glue with the light little things in the background. 
and some white gel pen. And I think this is pastel gel pen here as well. That's that one. Oh, and I've used markers as well for a base for some bits. Uh, then I've done this one. This is with Polychromos and Albert Drawer pencils and white gel pen. I really love how she came out. Uh, and I did this one. This was Polychromos and Albert Drawer as well and white gel pen. I really like how that one came out. I mean, if I see these colours I don't normally use, so the like pinks and stuff. Uh, then I did this one and I need to look like Ariel. So it's Polychromos and Albert Door pencils as well. And there's some glitter gel pen done on the like corals and stuff. And a white gel pen to outline all her tail and things. Yeah, I really like how that one came out. And I did this one. So there's those markers and castle art pencils. And yeah. There's some metallic red gel pen on her face to like do blood drips. Yeah, that one. Uh, then this one, this is polychromos and Albert Draw pencils and then some watered down acrylic paint to do the like mist and white gel pen. I really like how that one came out. And I've also done this one, you would have seen this in my finished pages. So Lyrac Corel pencil with a background. Um, and Prismacolors and gel pens. There's some glittery bubbles there. And yeah, there's that one. Um, oh, then I've done this one as well. So there's Polychromos and acrylic paint for the background, and yeah, some alcohol marker for the um, mountains. This is a base and white gel pen. That's all I've done in here. Yeah, so that's Mythical Maidens by Hannah Lynn. Then I've got a Gothic Fantasy by Rebecca Sintz. And I've done one in here. I did this one. With watercolour pencils, prismacolour pencils for the mermaid, a black fine liner for her hair, and white acrylic paint for the like splash there. Yeah, I really like how she came out. And I'm going to use polychromos for the wait, um, stone. Yeah, really like how she came out with that one. There's that one. Uh, then I have the Tim Burton colouring book. And this is by Scary Holidays. And I've done one somewhere. I did Jack Skellington here. This is just with watercolour pencils. Uh, different pens and there's glitter gel pen on the back. Yeah, I really like how that one came out. Um, I think that's all I've done in here. But yeah, there's different sort of Tim Burton films. There's like Frank and Mini and um, things like that. And Nine and Beetlejuice. So yeah, there's that one. And this is a creepy princess book. Um, I'm not sure who it's by. It's sort of creepy versions of the Disney princesses. Um, but yeah, it's, it's alright. There are a couple, hang on, there's a Tinkerbell one, but then I don't really know what's happening here. <laughs> there's obviously a printing error, so yeah, but I just ignore that page. Uh, yeah, there's that one. Uh, then I have the Coraline colouring book. Uh, this was by. Did I write it down? I have not written down the artist or what it's listed on there, but it's like. I can't remember what it's called, what it's, their name is, but this is really cool. It's like different scenes from the film. Um, so yeah, I really like the line art. Sorry, I keep showing you landscape ones. There are there's a there are portrait ones in here, yeah. So there's like sort of there's it's really cool. So that's Coraline currently book. Uh, then I have Disney princesses as horror movie villains. 
This is really cool. Okay, it's like it's Ariel with Pennywise. Uh, Snow White as uh, Billy from Saw. Uh, Ghostface is Tiana as Ghostface. Cinderella as Michael Myers. Esmeralda as Ghostface. It's, uh, Penelope as Chucky. Yeah, okay, it's really cool. Let's see, that's that one. I'm not sure who that one's by either, so I. Uh, and this is the Nightmare Before Christmas colouring book published by Clover Marvin. And I've done one in here somewhere. I did Sally and Jack. I use Brute Funa pencils, alcohol marker, Crayola Super Tips, and I use a black fine liner for Jack. No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. I really like how that one came out. And I had to draw in the patterns on Sally's dress because it was just sort of plain. It was just the sort of different sections, but there was none of the like swells or the dots, so I had to draw it in. So I had to look up a reference picture of her to get it right. But yeah, this is a really cool book because different scenes from the film and things. But yeah, so that's the Nightmare Before Christmas book. I will just pause the video and grab some more books. Okay, I'm on the second drawer, let's go. Right, I'll just, um, I'll just do these first. So, um, we've also got these little watercolour cards that we need the poo. Uh, some of them are missing because I've used them as cards. So, yeah, that's we need the poo one. These little Disney cards. But yeah, they're like the we need the poo one. So, there's that one. I don't know if I will be able to do two book two drawers, but we'll see. Uh, then these are the books by Molly Harrison that I've completed. So I'll just quickly flick through, but there are um, full flick throughs on my channel. So yeah, yeah, just to give you an idea, but I'm going to show every single page. And then this is, that was Whimsical World, and this is Magical Fairies. So I've used a range of different things in there. So. If you wanted a more detailed flip through of these where I sort of talk about what I've used, then please let me know and I will do them. So that's those two. Uh, then I have Goddess in Mythology by Selena Fennec. And um, this is the. Where's it gone? I have done this one. I think this was W.H. Smith pencils and some soft pastel and gel pens. Um, this one, I can't remember what I used, sorry, <laughs> it's clear the super tips I think for the pen work, the rest of it I'm not 100% sure, it's soft pastel for the background, pen for her hair, but yeah, it's that one, and this one, is, um, I can't remember what pencils I used, but it was eyeshadow for background and then some silver gel pen for the lightning. So that's that one. And then I've got Enchanted, also by Selena Finnick. I've done that one, they're just pens. Um, and this one is WH sorry, WH with pencils. Um, I used, I, when I had open stock polychromos, I used them on her skin, and uh, this was gel pen, and then the white bit is actually a Posca pen, but it was running out, but it came out kind of watery and translucent, but I kind of like the effect, so yeah, and then it was watercolour pencil for the background, so yeah, so that's that one, I really love that one. Then this one, I'm not, I don't really like this one. It was very early. It was... Did you hit some pencils, possibly? I'm not sure. It was that one. This one is... Uh... Oh my goodness, my memory. Did you hit some pencils and pens? Gel pens. I can't remember what pencils I used. Yep. <laughs> my mind's gone blank. It was quite some time ago, though. I really love that one. And oh, then this one. So there's Marco Ruffins for the girl and the trees and things. And then 
eyeshadow, I think, or sort of pastel for the background. Um, yeah, so that's that one. Uh, then I have Australian Animals and Wildflowers. I've not done anything in here yet, but it's a really nice book. I think it's just the animals. I'm not 100% confident on colouring at the moment, so that's that one. Uh, then I have Night Magic. And I have done this one. So with Prismacolors, gel pens, watercolour pencils for the sky and as a base I think for the background. And yeah, I really like how that one came out. Uh, this one was an early one. This was very hits with pencils. Either soft pastel or eyeshadow for the background. And some gel pen. I'm sorry if you can hear my phone pinging. I don't know why it's not silenced itself whilst I'm filming. Sorry about that. Uh, I don't know anything else. No. It's the other, other gothic one I'm thinking of. Uh, then, ooh, sorry. Then I have Fedorable's Fantasy Beasts. And I, don't, I started that with pen. But I don't think I've actually done a page. No. But it's a really cute book. That one. Then I have unicorns and dragons. And the one in here. Did this one. It's polychromos. Crayola Super Tips as a base, I think, for some of it. It's Faber Castell colour book pens and uh, some kind of watercolour pencil and some silver and purple glitter gel pen. I really like how that came out. Yeah, it's a really sweet book. I really like that one. And then I have Gothic. And I've done this one. This is with Sadie Style pencils, some Posca pen, and I think it was the Cray Crayola Metallic pencils for the skulls, and a black Posca pen for the background. Yeah, I really like how she came out, even though she's an early one now. But I can redo really her. Uh, this was with Polly. No. Hmm, do we have some pencils, I think, and lots of gel pen. I did this one because I, as I got, as I, like, um, A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Maas, I thought of this, it kind of reminded me of Faber and Resand from the series, book series, so I added the tattoos to match the characters and stuff. Yeah, I really like that one. Here, that one. And this one, sort of eyeshadow for the background. Um, so he has with pencils, I believe, and some pens of some kind. So yeah, that was a really early one. Uh, this one was polychromos and a little bit of white gel pen. I didn't. I kind of brushed the roses. So they're not very well coloured. I might come back and finish to sort of sort them out at some point. But, but yeah, I really like that one still. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, so that's that one. And then this is the artist edition of the Victorian Romance and Memories Wake book. The spiral binding. I won this in a competition. I've not done anything in here, but I want to at some point. But, but yeah, so that's that one. And then I have fairy portraits. And I've done one in here, with this one. I challenged myself to use just budget pencils in this, so I've used the Faber-Castell Color Grip, like water-soluble pencils for the background. And then I used Faber-Castell Classics for everything else, and then some gel pen and the co um, Color Grip markers. I really like how it came out, because I, I got the 60 set of the Faber-Castell Classics, so I thought I'd try, and I did manage to get a sort of good kind of skin tone. So yeah, that's that one. I really like this one. It's just different fairies and things. So yeah, that's that one. Then this is my Molly Harrison collection. So I've got a fairy, the fantasy and fairy tale coloring book in grayscale. And I believe I've done one in here somewhere. I used Arteza pencils and my gel pen. I just colored it, straight colored it. I don't really know whether I like it or not. I'm still very new to the grayscale and things, so I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm still trying to learn. 
So yeah, I can use a watercolour pencil for the background as well. So that's that one. Again, if you want any flip throughs of anything, just let me know and I'll do it. Uh, I've got Whimsical World 4. Uh, I haven't done anything in here, but it's really cute. Yeah, that's that one. Then I have uh, Magical Animals Grayscale. And um, this is really beautiful. Um, yeah. I just, I don't really know how to attempt these, cause especially the more realistic ones. They're so gorgeous. But yeah, so that's that one. Then I have Fantasy Art coloring book. And I think I've got at least one or two in here. Somewhere. I've done this one. I use WH Smith pencils, I believe, and the soft pastels. And a little bit of gold gel pen, but it's kind of lost its metallicness a little bit. I don't know if that's really catching. It's on her wings. Yeah. I did this one. Uh, it still is WH Smith pencils as well, I believe. And some gel pen. I did this one. Uh, I think I use Marco Ruffin pencils and soft pastel and some white gel pen. That's all I've done in here. Yeah, that's that one. Uh, then I have Mystical. This has got quite early colouring. So this is the other version of that fairy that I've shown you like several times. <laughs> um, I had two in my PDF thing. I had the early one and then the later one, and this is the one from the middle. So this is OEH with pencils and some gel pen. I really love her wings, and I like this kind of swirly background I did. So yeah, there's that one. Uh, this was WH with pencils as well, and I tried to use a marker on her um, skin, but it ran out like part way down her neck so I had to improvise and I used the oil pastel and I kind of like the effect it's kind of made her skin have this like interesting texture yeah, and I used gel pen on her eyes it's a bit creepy but I like it uh, this is fine liners uh, this was a really really early one so this was fine liners really cheap pencils and uh, oil pastels but I really kind of like how it came out so, yeah. Uh, this was W.H. Smith pencils and some kind of metallic marker there for the moon and a few little bits. Uh, this was W.H. Smith pencils, I think, or maybe the cheap pencils, I'm not sure, and oil pastels and some tens. Yeah. This was Debbie Hates with pencils, I think, and soft pastels and gel pens. These are all really early because I had this book quite early on. Uh, this is uh, all Debbie Hates with pencils, no gel pen. Uh, this was one of my favourites. I kind of really want to get this book again to redo this page because I love it. There's all Debbie Hates with pencils. The sky took forever. <laughs> and my black pencil. Suffered and some gel pen. Yeah, I really like how that one came out. And that one is, uh, I don't know, is the WH with pencils and some gel pen. And it, it looks like I've used some kind of oil pastel, but I'm not sure. And some fine liner. And this is very cheap pencils and some pens. Yeah. So that's mystical. And then I have Whimsical Halloween. And I think I've done one in here. I did the little fairy. I did a little bit of some pencils and soft pastels and some glitter gel pen for the stars and on her wings as well. I really like how that one came out. I think that's it for that one. Yeah. Then I have Autumn Magic Grayscale. And this one is W Heads with pencils and some gel pen for her necklace, so I think it's all faded a little bit. 
Yeah, I don't know. It's quite pale. I don't know. It might just be the pencils. Oh, I did this one as well. This was uh, Scribblicious Pencils from The Works and Soft Pastel. Uh, then this, this is not Molly Harrison, but it was in the pile. Uh, this is Faces of the Zodiac by Kim White, the, the doodles from the den. And I have done two in here. So then the Zodiac will, and I just used cheap pencils and some gel pens and, and some pen. Yeah, that's just a quick one. And then I've also done... The Taurus page, and I used polychromos and some white gel pen. And I think this is watercolor pencil here on the name on the Taurus. Yeah, I really like how it came out. There's just different ones for the different star signs. So yeah, this is that one. And then I go back to Molly Harrison. This is a holiday coloring fun. This is her sort of Christmassy book, or one of them anyway. This is fun. Yes. Uh, this is W H S pencil, soft pastel, and some gel pen. Mm, it's got to be holly as well. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, this one I use polychromos and soft pastel, and there's some glitter glue on the background as well. You could all sparkly. There's that one. Um, and this one is Polychromos silver gel pen for her like, tights and then the present and some pen for the like, leaves. Oh, and I used a marker on the present. <laughs> okay, that's that one. And this is a Halloween coloring book. And I one because I've done the very first one. Uh, this is W H S pencils and soft pastels, and I did this for like it was a black and white challenge, but you could use one color, so I used orange. I really like how that one came out. I might have to try and do something again like that. It was quite fun. And I've also done this one as W H S pencils and soft pastel, and I did a purple cat, purple cat because why not? Um, Okay, I've done more on here than I thought. Um, so W H Smith pencils, soft pastels, and there's some glitter pen to make the stars in the sky as well. And I did it like Linda and Alphaba from Wizard of Oz. She's not called Alphaba in The Wizard of Oz, but I like Wicked, so. And I gave her ruby slippers because she wanted them. <laughs> And I did this one, it was WH Swift Pencils and Soft Pastel. And I think that's it for that one. Then I have Autumn Fantasy. This is the one that's got, it's got two lots of the same image in. You get double images. I've not done anything in here yet. I really love this image. The wolf. But yeah, I've not done anything yet, so it's that one. And uh, then I have Halloween Fantasy Colouring Book. I also have not done anything in here yet, but I really love this one. It's so cool. I really love the like Day of the Dead Girls. That's so pretty. There's that one. Then I have Whimsical World 3 Mythical Sweetness. Again, not done anything in here yet. But it's adorable. I love her little Whimsical World books. They're so sweet. <laughs> and then I have Whimsical World 2, and I believe I have done one in here. I did. Oh, I've done two. Okay, so this is a mermaid one. I think this was WH Smith pencils and watercolor pencils and soft pastel. And there's a little bit of gel pen as well. <laughs> it's cute. And I've also done, whatever it may be. This one is uh, watercolor pencils, very mixed with pencils, soft pastel, and it looks like I may have used the open stock polychromos on their skin. So that's that one. 
almost done. So this is Whimsical Spring. I've not done anything in this one yet, but it's super cute. And then I've got Fairy Dragons and Unicorns. Then this one, I did this to do like a side by side comparison of when I did the page before. I might try and put up a picture of the um, old one I did on the screen so you can have a comparison. So I'll just kind of hold it there for a minute just to uh, put the other one here. But yeah. And uh, then I used watercolor pencils, polychromos, and some gel pen. I really like the background. It took a while, but I really like how it came out. And this one. Yeah, this one is WH with pencils and soft pastels. And a little bit of white gel pen. I really like that one. And I did this one. It was all watercolor pencils. I think it was the Faber Castell Art Brit Aquarelle pencils. And some white gel pen. And then my rainbow dragon and fairy. They're so cute. So it's uh, WH with pencils and soft pastel. And the dragon scales took ages. I did rainbow in all of it. <laughs> but yeah, I really like how that one came out. So there's that one. Then I have fairies and mermaids grayscale. And I think I've done it a couple in here. Uh, this one is uh, WH with pencils, I think, and pastels and some pen. Uh, this one, this one was watercolor pencils for a lot of it, and I think it was WH with pencils as well and soft pastel and white gel pen. Uh, this one is WH with pencils as well. I think I tried to blend it with Vaseline after seeing it on Nikki Burnett's channel that she blends pencils with Vaseline and you like dip the pencil in it and then colour with it and it goes down really smooth. But yeah, there's a white gel pen in there as well. Oh no, I've done more in here than I thought. Uh, this one is eyeshadow for the background and WH Smith pencils I think for the rest of it. And this one was Crayola Super Tips and Soft Pastels and white gel pen. This one was eyeshadow and to be fixed with pencils. It's pretty. And there's that one. I don't use eyeshadow as eyeshadow, so I've got a palette that I bought specifically to use as colouring. So yeah. Uh, this is Fantasy Faces. I've not done anything in here yet. Here, yet, here. I can't talk now. I haven't done anything in here yet, but it's a really pretty book. I really should do something in here. I need to visit Emily Harrison's books again because I used to colour them in a lot but now I don't and it's sad. So, it was some of my favourite. She was the first artist I like bought books from so they got me into colouring. So okay, so this is the Enchanted Fairy Grey Scale and I've done one in here. This was WH with pencils and white gel pen or Posca and some glitter gel pen as well on the sword. It's pretty. What's that one in there? I love this one. It's so cool. But I'm scared to do it because I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> I kind of wish she had this in her line art book because it's so cool. But yeah, there are some pages in here I've got already, but I don't mind. Or I've got the line art versions. And the last book I will show you today is Fairies. And I've not done anything in here yet, but it's pretty, as with all of Molly Harrison's books. But yeah, so thank you for watching. This is part nine. <laughs> um, we will be on part ten after this at some point. I'm so sorry it's going on for so long, but I have tackled two drawers, so hopefully I can do the next two drawers in the next video. And then I'll be onto the boxes and then we're done. So hopefully I can do that. So I'll do this. I'll say goodbye now. But thank you for watching. And I will see you in part 10. Bye bye.